Okay, day 26. Today we're getting into yoga for the fourth or fifth time with Kyla. She's amazing. She's so awesome that she's put together a yoga in the park on top of Mount Tomi. So if you're in Victoria on Sunday, this Sunday, 10 a.m. by donation, all the proceeds go to the Ride to Conquer Cancer. My Ride to Conquer Cancer, I have to raise $2,500 to even just ride in the race. Regardless of the videos, even just to ride in the race, I need to raise $2,500. There's a donation link below or just come to the event. It's gonna be awesome. I've got a few different videographers, different people kind of helping out. It's from 10 a.m. to like 11.15. Kyla's an amazing teacher. Also, every single person that comes in gets Renew. This is my friend Jasper, Jasper, Coach Jasper. He owns a company called Renew. It's amazing. It's like green tea enriched with everything you could think of. Everybody gets one of these. And yeah, have a great Friday. that you would implement for specifically cycling. Yeah. Um, to be really honest, those are generally good stretches for anyone who's active. Like most of the things we do are forward moving. So our front body gets really tight. So it's really good to stretch it open. So cycling or not cycling, these are gonna be great for everybody. Oh, I'm definitely cycling. Yeah, yeah you are. Um, so I know we used props the last time we practiced. We're not gonna, we're not gonna use them today unless yeah. you really want. No. Okay. So we are going to move through. Okay, a little bit more, what did you call it? Limber? I, I never use, loose as a goose. Loose as a goose. Okay. So I feel like the most challenging part of this is gonna be the like seated breath work for you. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, so please find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Okay. You're gonna rest your hands on your knees. You're gonna close your eyes. We're gonna start with our breath work. So I've been talking a lot about breath. Um, during these four weeks and the importance of it. Um, so we're going to just spend a little bit of time actually focusing on it. So okay. from this seated position, as you inhale, just try to lengthen through your spine, bringing the crown of your head up towards the sky. As you exhale, just getting firmer in your seat, rooting down into the earth. And trying to lengthen your inhales, lengthen your exhales, creating the longest, fullest breath that you've had likely in the entire day. And I know there's a lot going on. We're in nature. We're in a really busy, beautiful park in our city. There's tourists, there's birds, there's kids. And I want you to just do your, there's a duck behind you. Just do your very best to tune it out. Tune it all out. Tune it all out. Exactly. Just check in with your breath. So the breath we find in this seated breath work is the breath we want to take with us through the entire practice. Our movement should flow with our breath. So... What I mean by that is every time we take a movement, whether we're lifting a leg or we're stepping forward, it should be with an inhale and with an exhale. 
So there's no rush in any of it. It's smooth transitions. So from here, gently open your eyes. We're going to find our way into tabletop. And we're going to start with a little cat-cow. Oh, right. Yes, I, cat -cat. I know. We haven't done that one in weeks. So hands again are placed underneath your shoulders, spread out through your fingers, and then hips are shifted over knees. So take an inhale to drop your belly, lift your tailbone and the back of your head, take your gaze up, creating a little bit of movement through the spine. Exhale, press your hands down around your spine, tuck your chin, look towards your chest. Inhale, drop the belly, tailbone lifts, back of head lifts, gaze comes up. And exhale, reverse through that. Press your hands down, round through your back shoulder blades. One more, we'll inhale to drop the belly. Then we're gonna exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. From here, neutral your spine and tuck your toes. Now we have not practiced downward dog, but we're gonna find it anyway. Lift your knees off the earth, press your hips back like you're gonna pounce on something, and now lift your hips towards the sky. Downward dog. So here our knees can be nice and bent. We don't need to worry about getting our heels to the earth. What we wanna do is press our hands down and lengthen our spine, pressing our hips back. Now from downward dog, take a couple wiggles, maybe bend one knee and then the other, kind of like you're pedaling out, walking your dog, people will say. Just getting a little bit of stretching movement through the entire back body, so hamstrings, calves, which are gonna be big for you. Side, torso, entire length of the back. And then take both heels up towards the sky and then press them down. Now bend your knees and look towards your hands and slowly walk your feet to the top of your mat. When you get there, release into a forward fold. Relax your head down. Let your whole torso be like a rag doll. Knees are bent. Just take any wiggles, any movement that feels good. And then from here, release your hands to the earth. As you inhale, just lift your spine halfway until it's about parallel to the earth. And then exhale, fold it again. Tuck your chin in. And then on our next inhale, we're going to very slowly ragdoll our body up. One vertebra at a time. Chin is the last to lift. It's very windy. I have no face. Okay. Now we're going to flow. So bend the knees a little bit. Inhale, both arms lift. And then as we exhale, we're going to bend the knees and fold. From here, inhale, lift just halfway and exhale, step your left leg back into your low lunge. Drop your low lunge, down you go, yeah. Now, inhale, both arms up. Torso is tall, we're not hinging, pressing forward, but what we are gonna do is press down through your right heel, pull your right hip back, and pull the front of your left hip forward. From here, inhale, extend the arms a little bit higher, and exhale to cactus the arms, pull elbows down, open up through chest. From here, inhale, arms high. Exhale, left hand to the earth, find our revolved low lunge. Right hand high, pull your right hip a little bit back. Take one breath here and reach your right fingertips high. And exhale, right hand to the earth. Pause here. Lift your back knee up, and as you exhale, step it forward and release into a forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, slowly rise, one vertebrae at a time. Chin is the last to lift. Take a breath. We're gonna do it again. Bend your knees, inhale your arms. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Halfway lift as you inhale and your right leg steps back, exhale to a low lunge. Once you're there, both arms to inhale. And now we'll stay here. We'll press down through your right foot, pull your, so your left, pull your left hip back and pull the front of your right thigh forward. Inhale, extend the arms tall and exhale to cactus. I love the cactus. Elbows are down and chest is open. I know you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do it a couple times. All right, inhale, arms high. And find our revolved lunge. Right hand to the earth, left hand to the sky. 
Cool. We're gonna hang out here. Pull your left hip back a little bit. Good. And then shoot the crown of your head forward. Left fingertips reach one more time. And exhale both hands to the earth. Take your left leg now, step it back into a high plank position. Like top of a push up. Press both hands down, take the back of your shoulders up towards the sky. Belly button pulled in towards your spine. Stay here for one breath. And as you exhale, press yourself back into down dog. So bending your knees, hips go back. Press your hands down into the mat. Press your hips away from your hands and then relax your shoulders away from your ears. Give your head a little nod, yes and no. Make sure there's lots of room there. And then bend your knees, look forward and slowly walk to the top of your mat. When you get there, exhale to fold, relax. Taking any wiggles that feel necessary. And then finding stillness, release your arms to the earth. Bend your knees and inhale, we're gonna rise, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Halfway, lift your spine. And exhale, step your left leg back, but stay in a high lunge. Test your balance today. Inhale, both arms rise. Ooh. I know, obviously. From here, same rules apply as our low lunge. So press your right heel down and pull your right hip back. Pull the front of your left hip forward. And now pull the front of your rib cage in and contract your core muscles. Take any arch out of your low back. Inhale, reach the arms tall. We're gonna find cactus because you love it. Exhale to cactus. Ooh. Inhale to extend, arms tall. Find revolve lunge, left hand to the earth. Right hand to the sky. Pull your right hip back and then reach from the crown of your head out so you're lengthening your spine. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, right hand to the earth, step forward into your fold. Inhale, halfway lift the spine. Exhale, fold fully, tuck your chin. And then as we inhale, bend the knees, rise the arms. Reach all the way up, all the way up, and exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Halfway lift your spine, inhale. And right leg, exhale, step it back. Find your high lunge. Once you're balanced, arms can rise. We're gonna hang out and find our stability. So, left foot root it down, pull your left hip back. The front of the right hip forward. Reach the arms up and pull the front of your belly and ribs in. Extend the arms on your inhale and cactus on your exhale. Inhale the arms high and find your revolved right hand to the earth, left arm to the sky. Amazing, pull left hip back, reach the crown of your head forward, yes. That's okay. Now find breath. Did we do this side already? No, I haven't looked that way before. Okay. <laughs> Inhale, reach left arms a little bit higher and then exhale to the earth. Step your leg back to high plank. Stay right here for one breath in. And as we exhale, you're gonna lower as slow as you can, elbows tucked in all the way until your body hits the mat. Good, untuck your toes. Forehead to the earth. Your hands are right beside your armpits. Press down through the tops of your feet firmly. Tuck your elbows in and as you inhale, lift your head and chest off the earth. Pull your chest forward through your arms, finding a baby cobra. I'm just gonna watch her do this. <laughs> we haven't practiced this one, to be I was fair. Gonna say, okay. We have not practiced it. Here's a mess. Okay, okay. Exhale, release, forehead to the mat. Bring your big toes together. You know this one. Press yourself back. Knees take them wide and find child pose and find breath. There's so much geese poop and that's fine because that's as far as we're gonna take it today. <laughs>
<laughs> you are on the end of your mat. Okay, so that's all we're learning today. And then we're going to add to that next time I see you. And then we're going to have a nice home practice. Home practice. There we go. All right. Give it up. Okay. All right. Good Killed job. it. Killed it today. See you next time. And see you next week.